That will kill the circuitry. This will kill the circuitry, guys. This will kill the circuitry. It will not kill the circuitry, but put into deadly, deadly... Even this will pierce through it. Ow! Ow. Oh. And then this guy can finish it off. That's it. That's it. Well, hello, Oracles and the Frenchels. It's Donald. Welcome back to my kitchen. And on today's menu, I'll be serving you the new Gengar from Crimson Invasion, which is pretty good. In fact, everything called Gengar has been good in all of TCG history. The latest one is, well, still the same. So what does this guy do? He curses your opponent's energy. When they attach energy to their Pokemon, it stings just a little bit. So you just have to capitalize on the situation. Take advantage of it with very high damage. You know, the sort of damage that's just in almost enough to get a KO. You just need a little bit of help, which Gengar provides. Yeah, and there are multiple ways to abuse this bonus damage, such as somebody right here. So, we're gonna make this little bit of damage count through various Pokemons. Espeon, Drampa, as well as the older Gengar, which possibly is still deadlier. Yeah, so I'm gonna explain to you how this Gengar deck works, and you're gonna see it in three. Three. Three one. Ah. Uh, I think you mean to say spooky, right? Yeah, because it's a ghost. So, three spooky batches is coming at you. So, let us get started today. Today's intro is Koitu Uso Love and Lies. Which is a very nice, very, very good anime. Very good plot to it, too. Uh, no spoilers. Let's get started. Gengar, let me talk about you. Wow, look at this picture, man. He's standing in the alleyway. Right there. It's like, oh. oh, oh. He's like, hey, you. Come here. Yeah, you. Come here. I got something for you. You see, uh, you see this? I got seasoning. Yeah, you energies. You put them on the energies, and it tastes really, really good. So, when he's up, he tells, goes to your opponent's Pokemon. You know the stuff he gives you? Put it on there. Try it out. Yeah, 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 yeah. And it gives him a pretty bad stomach ache. They take two damage counters every time they chuck down an energy card. Any energy card, double colors, anyway. Energy is two damage counters, too. All right, that's not that much, but when you have two Gengars handing them out, or several, it can add up. And add up from different sources as well. So these two, as well as Potown. Potown has a lot of Team Skull members in it. Yeah, so when the Pokemon's evolve, it's like, oh yeah, you know, it's a ritual. You grow up, you have a coming of age, ritual will beat you up. 30 damage, three, yeah, 30 damage, three damage counters, along with Gengars. Everything adds up. And you will be pulled to the range where it, two things, actually three things can finish you off by that thing. First of all is his cousin. His cousin, uh, Gengar's other cousin, is like, oh yeah. I work for the Grim Reaper. You know, I take those people who are just a little sick and I just drag them over to the other side. Kind of creepy. And a little grin there. But Creep Show, that's what it does. Anyone with three damage counters is going down, which Poe Town provides. Yeah. We should try that. We are going to try that, so uh, there's that. And how about Espeon? Espeon can turn you into a little baby. You, he unevolves you, so you have much, much less hit points. And you know that little bit of damage from Gengar as Potel? That will hurt you. Two ways to exploit this in the final way is just sheer a lot of damage. Basic, easiest setup. This old grandpa has almost enough damage to one-shot other Pokemon. Almost, 150. You know, he has to, uh, but he has to, you know, he's righteous. He has, there has to be a wounded bench Pokemon on your team. That's okay, you know, you evolve plenty of Pokemon, you have Potown. That's how you trigger it. So, it's kind of like a drop deck with a lot of cool text with it, with ghosts this time, and that's how it works. You have three finishers, Espeon, Drampa, as well as this Gengar, and you have Potown and this new Gengar as your starters to do damage. A little bit of damage that the other ones can take advantage. All right, that is it. Anything I should mention? Anything that's really special? 
I'm starting to use Energy Lotto now for my DCs decks because hey, you look at the next seven guards, you might find a DCE. So I'm taking a little, slightly less energy counts. And this, I mean, everybody needs DC in this deck. Almost everyone except this guy. So, oh yeah, they do have, you know, I left out some important attacks. Let me go over that. You know, the very rarely used Shy Shot. This thing can pierce through any immunity. That's gonna come into play sometime very soon. And let's see, oh yeah, New Gengar does have attack. He just totally skipped it. Faint of black. He throws sand in your face or dirt or something in your face and you're now confused. So you have to retreat to get that off you. So half chance to miss. He can still fight at them with gnawing curse. Yeah, he can two shot you probably depending on how things line up. So Gengar. I think we finished talking about you. Let's see how you are in action. Here we go. Right. Setting this out. It'd be nice to start with uh, this, but I can't. Not this time. Good luck. Yeah. All right. So let's get to it. Welcome to another Gengar match. Uh, I bricked last time. Mad Archer got me good. So, let's hope I do a little bit better. I'm gonna play my remix of Limit Brick X Survivor from Dragon Ball Super. All right. I definitely cannot stick more all my two hunters away. So what am I gonna do instead? I think I'm gonna bridge it and evolve them all in one go. That sounds good, is that right? Bridge it. All right, let's go ahead and play this down. Get Banana Master. Two Gastlys, so I will not be stuck. Alright, let's go ahead and play this down on the Banana Master, see what he does. Alright, I don't have an energy, that's really gonna slow me down. There's no, absolutely no way that I can pull, uh, yeah, any energy cards after this, so, that's big. Alright. What in the world is that bitty game? Apparently it lets you get more points on stream, so you can win the, you, the prizes much easier. Oh, and, I guess you must really keep your hand not letting me get the Haunters. To remove one this? Like, why not? I didn't play this here to block that. Okay. What do we do here? I don't see the Zerka tree just yet. Okay. Play this down. Get the last card out. I want this card to be my second in line. There's nothing for me to tour move except my own cards. I'm gonna go ahead and end again. There are three dead cards here. And I might end like more Haunters so I can evolve. I really want the Haunters this turn or Ultra Balls. Didn't get any of them. So we're we're both going uh we're both bringing pretty bad. Let's go hit big wheel. This is a bad hand. Get my Haunters out. Come on. Hello! There we are! Yay! Yay! No, it's all about it's all about Ultra Instinct. We might change it up. I like Ultra Instinct, but not this time. I think uh, we have to switch up. Like we have two two subscriber music to to handle with that. So he's getting slowly getting to his Magnus Zone into play. All right. Um, that's book scarred. I, I am definitely most scared of. All right. So this may be circuitry or another Magnus Zone. I cannot hit circuitry with this particular card. That's okay. This is still pretty strong. So he doesn't have a free retreat right now. You know, getting this is still pretty good. And, you know, might, might be able to get something else out. Okay. Extra cards. We're all stuck here. And, oh, You always have an end when I have a nice hand. Okay, we can still confuse the circuitry. Hmm. Now I have nothing. Now I do have something. You do have something. It's just the energy. All the energy is all messed up. Okay, what do we have? Lightning GX. Gonna get the probably the Guzma. I think. The Ultra Ball. You're gonna prize the Ultra Ball. Okay. Yes to the double confusion. 
to remove all that. I need some extra pulls. Get these guys out of here. Keep one of the Guzmas. Get this right here. He's got Magnus Zone pretty darn soon. Oh dear. No this time. Pull two more cards. Okay. Card that gets me unbricked and destroys two Guzma. Got an energy to attack, but this guy needs to go. No town's up. I don't think I really want to attack. It's actually gonna help me out. No, it's not. No, it's not. I'll have to end my turn right there. Balls. Alright, I need a psychic energy now. How many energies have we used of DCEs? Just enough. Enough. Okay, okay, two Guzmas are gone. My retreat potential is some very, very, very limited. I probably will have to pay the DC to attack, and it'll get me through the circuitry. And that's the only card that looks like it's able to attack. Shauna, okay. This match is going a lot better, yeah. Definitely is. Magazone, yeah, sting you! <laughs> Too bad my Gengar has its. It's like hiding and hiding out of the place. Circuitry is getting all the energies it needs to attack, but it's confused. It is confused and confused. Yeah. Alright. Hopefully, the next end. Rumbling wires! It works! It is clear headed. It gets to attack me for free, pretty much. Alright. Everything in this hand sucks right now. I'll go ahead and play that just to get rid of it. Everything in my hand sucks. I need a psychic energy, but all the DCs come up front. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. We are in trouble with all these terrible pulls. Okay, so these guys are gone. We want the gnawing curse one. Looks like it could be useful. It's okay. Looks like it could be very useful. You can get a KO for me. But I wanna but he has I wanna see this thing sting him back big time, so I'm gonna do that instead. Think that play that down there. Alright, man. Circuitry is so good. I like that. Okay, please be a psychic energy. So many psychic energies in my deck. There we go. Get home. There we go. Psy Shock! Take this! At least they're gonna go through that. Psy Shock can pierce through that. So, yeah, that's what we can do. We also. Oh, where are my regular energies? Oh! Okay, there they go. And I can use uh, Fate to Black, but Confusion is definitely annoying. So now, Confused, it hurts itself. Yeah, I, it means I can finish this off with a Choice Man, which I'm gonna do that. Seven more cards left. Oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man. Choice Man, there it is, there it is. Play a regular energy. Side shot, take it out. Take out that circuitry. Oh, seven cards to get this, holy cow. That's probably the Ultra Ball. I don't want that. Or I may mix it up, I don't know. This is actually a shuffle? That's my last Guzma. Alright, we have double Gengars out. So it's probably gonna sting whatever card comes out pretty badly. And I don't really have another backup backup fighter. Ultra Ball... We'll see who comes out. Maybe, maybe the regular Gengar can actually deal with it. So I do want to save this card for another circuitry. Okay. I don't think it actually is Shuffle. It is Tapu Koko. Alright, he's Tiura uses GX, so I should be safe. He should not have a one-shot potential on me. I gotta save this for Fuka cir Circuitries. Oh! Oh! Double, double Gengars! Double, double Gengars. It's quite epic with DPC music, I believe too. Oh! He's going to split it up so the Coco doesn't get hurt. Smart move. Coco comes out with all these energies, but he doesn't have another energy. But he has to play a turn two removal. Okay. Floodstone. On the back one, should have on the front one right here. Okay, I'm gonna keep this card. 
Sting it. <laughs> that stings. Too bad this isn't ready to go. Too bad that this isn't ready to go. Alright, I've had plenty of energy, so I should be okay. By retreating right now. Into the guy that can attack. Alright, we're, we're gonna leave it as it is. There's nothing I can do. I'm running out of cards, so I definitely have to wait for an end. Because of uh, all the weird stuff here. Confusion effect! Here we go. It's now confused. It can pierce through me in one shot then, and then we can finish it off with this. And then I'll be in trouble because of my energy counts. I have recycling. It can... Ooh, it missed. It missed. It missed. Okay. We want Drumpa to be able to fight. But this better make sure this is ready to go. But you know what? I can get both of them ready to go next turn. So we're going to use Fade to Black again because it looks pretty darn safe. I'm kind of scared of a circuitry might come out again. Ah, oh, the confusion did it. All right, that's the Ultra Ball. That's the Ultra Ball. Man, that GX is good. Wazowski. Yeah. Yeah. Woo. So I'm not brick this time. The circuitry comes out. There's... Okay. You know there is a circuitry, right? Yeah, there is. So we'll have to play that. Fate to black, I need this card anyways. Okay, oh, that's the Ultra Ball. I'll take that. I'll take that. Circuitry comes out. Get the Magnazone! Uh, yeah, yeah, the Magnazone might be good. Oh, actually, it's the... Yeah, it does everything. It does absolutely everything. He got the Fisherman. This will sting this... But it's gonna sting this circuitry a lot. So three energy is... That's almost most his life. That will kill the circuitry. This will kill the circuitry, guys. This will kill the circuitry. It will not kill the circuitry, but put into deadly, deadly... Even this will pierce through it. Ow! Ow. Oh. Then, then this guy can finish it off. That's it. That's it! And my decked out. Now this guy goes in. Two prize card. Okay. That's it. Side shot. GG. Thank you, thank you, Madden Archer. Good game. Agore. For the viewers who are watching this, he's gonna get rid of. All right, everything's up. Better check everything's up. Yep, we're ready to go. Okay, great starting Pokemon. Yeah. Pretty darn good. Let's get started. Today's giveaway winner on Twitch is Mad Archer Jr. Again, he's getting popular on YouTube now. So, congratulations, Mad Archer Jr. And let's get started. Tapu Ko... Ooh! The new card that's immune to immune to uh, special energy cards. Mm, I don't have to get around that. All right, let's go. This is my remix of Spider Dance from Undertale. Good choice. Now what do I do here? Now I'm kind of scared to trust the front trampa. So I'll play this down right here. But I need to use my GX attack. I likely will need to use my GX attack. Let's go ahead and pull the pole town down. Ah, uh, everything's gonna get destroyed anyway. It is Sycamore, so yeah, sucks to lose these. Let's go ahead and get our Ghastly out. First Ghastly is up. So get that out there. Let's go ahead and drop a Sycamore. See what else we have. Oh yeah, get my Pokemon's evolving. Put that down there. Let's go ahead and thin our hand a little bit more. I'm probably gonna need those. I probably need one though. Okay, I can lose energy. Energies will come back to me. Let me see how many Haunters I got. All Haunters are present. All Haunters are present. I like that, so... I'm gonna get you everything out. Gotta go ahead and throw a Float Stone up on you. You? 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 Yeah, you're okay. You're okay. Let's go ahead and use Big Wheel GX for a whole lot of cards. For both of us, that is. Yeah! Banana Master. That's a big hand. That is a very, very nice hand here. So we're gonna put one energy 
Yeah, it's, I'm scared of this thing. This thing's getting charged up, so... Takes the stadium away. Ow. Oh, that's okay. Rare candy. Rare candy works out for him, but not me. Not me. Magnazone. Magnazone is up infinite lightning energies. That's why he held his hand. Didn't play any draw supporters up. Coco is getting charged up. Probably is his nether Coco or... Yeah, you got infinite energies. You got turn one Magnazone. That's gonna sting, man. That's gonna sting. And oh, oh, banana bastard pulled up the end right there. Let's see what I can do. I'm wounded. Dang man, dang man, that's a good way to play it. That's a good way to play it. What do I do? Play this right here. Play this right here. Involve you. Say yes to confusion. He's already got way ahead of me, so I won't get any value of this. At least for now, I won't. Okay. Let's get this charged up. Let's go ahead and play Sick War over N, because I don't want to give you any more cards. You're stuck. That's all for the future turns. Let's go ahead and play this right now, too. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and retreat. His GX can't get me just yet. But I can attack, do a little bit of damage. His tap it, tap it right here. Let's go ahead and take away your stadium as well as your this guard. Alright, and I'm just gonna go ahead and use Righteous Edge. Alright, 50 damage. That hurts it enough. I can't I don't think he can GX me. What does this GX do? I can put extra prize cards. That would suck. That would suck, man! No, he's gonna finish it off! Zooka Tree comes out, and I have nothing really to fight this. I have nothing really to fight this. Oh dear, I'm using so many DCs, it hurts too much. It hurts me too much, Mad Archer. It hurts me too much, man. What can I do? I need a Guzma. Or I have to buy some time now. Rumbling Wires? This is Guards of Deck? Okay, that, that, that doesn't help me much. You know, send, send the guy with the free retreat out. Yep, everybody's confused. You're not confused anymore. But I have both. How do I deal with this? He can use his GX now. I've got special energy on me. Basically, I'm tainted. I'll charge this guy up then. Go ahead and retreat. Send this guy out by some time. Yeah, I can't do anything. I can't do anything, uh, Mad Archer. You got a really good deck against me. Okay. I just have to let it be for now and go 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 with that. There's no way to kill this Zuka tree, not with my deck. This is a good deck choice. <laughs> now at least I get the value in some of that. But I need regular energies now. Lightning GX, like, oh, what can I, what can I, uh, put there? The Gengar? Probably the Gengar. You don't want to see two Gengars down. Now it's in the prize card, I gotta fish for it. Okay. At least the confusion can work, help out. Now I'll wait. No, I won't. Yep, you're all confused. Can't do anything though. I can't do anything. He has a GX on me easily now. I'm wrecked, man. I am wrecked. Actually, I'm, I'm not. I'm not. I, I, I need I need some card pools and an, and a, an extra card. It's crazy how GX messes with the prize card. Yeah, it does. The 
and your draw, man. And your draw. Guzba. I've got seven prize cards to go. He's gonna one shot on me. No, he's gonna kill the Gengar for fun. He could have one GX. No, he can't use GX anymore. But he's gonna destroy this. Okay, Sky High Claw. Ah. Oh. At least I can take this out if I get an energy. No, I can't. I still can't. I still can't. At least I can attack ya. Yep. I'm stuck. I'm bricked. But I'm gonna see this bench through because you want it, so... You want it. But there's nothing I can do. Choice ban. Send out retreat, send out the Zooka tree. I can't do nothing. Unless I get a draw. I got this. I'm gonna use Berserk. Yeah, that's GG. GG. Too strong for me. Welcome to uh, welcome to another Gengar match. Yeah, I'm gonna play my remix of Asgore from Undertale's. All right. Maybe you can make a creep show. Uh, no. I'm trying to showcase the Crimson Invasion uh, deck right now. So, focusing you. This is the, probably the Tapu Coco spread damage. Yeah, yeah. Spread damage, um, Coco. Okay, so we kind of need Drop out and not Banana Master. I'm probably I'm likely gonna end. You can't attack me the first turn. That's Retreat Energy. Probably. Potel, yeah! I need that card. And yeah, my hand sucks. So thank you for the extra cards. <laughs> Gengar, Lele. I'll probably open up with Bridget, but I'm stuck on cards at this point. Bridget's good. I'm gonna need a re Retreat. This is a bad hand. This is a bad hand. I may end instead. Let's go for Bridget. Now he can do maximum spread damage to me. That is going to be very, very bad. Better put this in case... No, no, no. Play as is. Banana Master, are you here? That is extremely bad if Banana Master here is it's not here then. That is ultra, ultra, ultra bad. Okay, here's this. Here's this. We are in trouble with the brick. Uh oh. Uh oh. You should have been here for me to uh to GX. So now Coco's like, oh look at all that damage. Yeah, I'm gonna kill them all and I'm gonna get out of here. If that happens, DCE, does he have a way to retreat? I'm gonna need a draw. Like a sycamore and like some of that and yeah. Yeah! Alright, so that will activate Drampa if I do get the DCE. Crush the Coco. Mm, not quite, not quite. Uh, I'm probably gonna end though. Hurts yourself? Yeah, yeah! You can't attack. You can't attack. You're like, where's my retreat? I know, I know. And I don't have any uh, rare candies in my hands, otherwise I'll be so happy. Okay, let's go ahead and do some thinning right now. I'm likely gonna sick more. I'm likely gonna sick him more. We'll get our first hunter up. Would you like both Pokemon to be confused? Yeah, I'm gonna get you home anyways, it doesn't matter. Let's sick him more. Let's sick him more. Crush this card right here. Okay, Energy Lotto. Come on, Energy Lotto. All right, yeah, now all my rare candies are useless. One rare candy is going to be useful. Your rare candy sucks. Rare candy sucks. Yeah, I said it. I said it. I'm, uh, I'm pretending to be that certain guy. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, retreat, retreat. Hopefully I don't draw any rare candies because they suck. Berserk. 
We may get one rare candy, because that's the only way we can get that last Gengar up there. So, Gengar's about to show up. This is a deck that doesn't need energy. He has his own Ghastly, so he's the guy using the other Gengar. Well, I'm using this Gengar. Alright, I told you, Donald. I know, man. I hate rare candy. Now I have one rare candy that could be good. Two rare candy that's junk. Yeah, they do suck. Bench damage is all gonna hurt me. So I this this stadium I don't like now. No! He's a, he, this is a kind of deck that doesn't need energies. Oh, it just needs one energy, so that 20 damage doesn't really get me anywhere. Okay. It's okay, as long as Drumpa fights for me, I'll be okay. I need a two removal for the stadium because I don't need it anymore. It's gonna get me killed in the future. <sighs> oh town. Oh, I have no backup fighter. Okay, I'm gonna put it in the Ghastly. It's kinda risky, but, you know, let's, we have to. Gonna lose that DCE there, too. That's Sycamore. Very, very, very. Sycamore is so painful. Alright, let's, you know, let's do this. I don't need Po Town. I don't need Lele. Drumpa. Get that use of that, of that rare candy. It's gonna sting me because it evolves, though. But, you know, it's has the least damage out of that. Ow. Ow. Berserk. Take an energy right there. Okay. Two removal. Good. But Gengar's definitely gonna have to fight. Fade to black with that confusion attack. Alright. He's gonna get a KO on Haunter and Haunter. Two prize guards. Happy, happy, happy. Yeah, we're not we're gonna we're going to all the silly decks today. But nothing nothing the Gengar helps with it help with nothing. Ah ha, ha, ha that's working against ya! So now if you evolve, okay maybe I'll keep it since I don't need the hunter these anymore. Bridget. Oh the Gengar's way to the back. That's it, you guys don't wanna live. Bridget. This looks like the last Coco. Fly and flip. Ah! Two combat cards go KO! Alright, this is my last Guzma because Sycamore has been destroying, uh, destroying myself. So, you know, you're, you're about to evolve. I kind of like that. I'm not going to take away that stadium. I'll keep my Guzmas. I'll keep my Guzmas and I'll berserk. We're going to go and sweep this guy up. Okay, I'll go ahead and take that right there. So that's late, late game tiny, tiny late game damage with that gnawing curse there. If you have three Gengars out, that would be totally crazy. It would be totally, totally crazy. I agree. It would take forever though, and my damage would be pretty low at the start. Pretty, pretty darn low, and I would have no deck space with anything but anything else. So, Ghastly is about to hurt itself. It's like, oh, it's stinging it! If he evolves, he dies. So he has to put me asleep. Rare candy! Nope, 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 it's... Nope, he's got the creep show Gengar. He doesn't die, but this matters. He got my Drumpa. I don't have another Drumpa go ready to go. And Sycamore's gonna delete all my cards. Random creep show. You know the creep show Gengar wouldn't be so bad. I'll have to send you out because nobody else can fight. I'll give you a float stone. You wanna waste an energy? You played the super rod yet? I need this energy to go on Drumpa, man. Alright, let's go ahead and play the sound right here. Drumpa, you want to show up? That's okay. I hate you too, Drumpa. Lele, this energy. Here, you can have this. All right, we're desperate now. We are desperate. We're gonna charge up a uh, banana master. No, this master. Coconut master, fade to black. Take this, jerk. Rare candy. Okay, take that. Use this rare candy. Reminds me of Ampharos EX that hurts any EX. Mm. The Battle of the Shadows. Hello, enemy cards. We're both. We're, well, yeah, I'm gonna. I'm gonna end. We gotta end, man. Hopefully, there's not another rare candy because that would be exceptionally scary if there was. Yeah, I think he's using rare candy to evolve all three of these. That would make sense because then you share multiple stage two. It's possible, but not the best. Possible, possible. Yeah, we could try. We haven't tried Quad Ganger, but we need like a really, really. Oh my gosh! 
but this one has no energies. It has no energies. He can still use Sinister Fog, though. But he'll be confused, but he has a free retreat, so... Oh, I was scared you had that. <laughs> it's hurting! It's hurting! But I can't do any more damage than that. So I'm gonna have to try to get another Pokemon out very, very quickly. He just wants to slap my Lele. That's what he wants. He wants to slap my Lele. And I'm holding on to dear life with this card. He's got all the rare candies, man. Yeah! And all my candies are junk. They're absolutely junk. Sinister Fog. I need like a double retreat at this point because the poison's gonna burn me out. Okay. So he'll get away. I can't get any more Gengars up. He killed all my Gengars. There's that Drampa. Oh, thanks, Drampa. Thanks for showing up now. All right, we're gonna go ahead and pull some more cards out. We got DCE. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna have to use Fade into Black. This card is no risk to me whatsoever. I know it's hurting all, but I've got to do it. If you have attacked me and it fails, that sucks for you. So you probably will run away. You're gonna wait. You're gonna wait for your day to bite me. Yeah, that's what you're gonna do. I'm gonna run away too because I don't want to lose this card. This is going up. He's like, I just need to use my special attack, and it's gone. <laughs> Everyone's getting stung here. Ow! Ow! Okay. Kinda wanna finish this off. It's okay, drop and go for a sweep, but he is a uh, he he just wants the combo, man. He wants the combo. I think this is to get something back. No, this is a reshuffle, okay. I need a, I need something. I'm I'm kinda scared of this card. I'm scared of everything actually. Still need an energy. 14 cards. Okay. Gonna retreat, not gonna give me that card, because you know you wanna get that creep show up by Lele. Not okay. I've gotta retreat, but I don't know who to send out just yet. I'm stuck. I'm gonna give you two extra card for which you definitely appreciate. This can he can hit you can have this. I'm gonna pull some extra cards out. Try to get one energy in my hand, man. Not gonna happen. Am I gonna get a KO with this? Yes, I will. I'll take the KO. Get me one closer to victory. Put you in danger. Put you in danger. Yeah. All right. So now this is out. What you gonna do? You got an energy in the Lele? Uh, and a Guzma? This is super, 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 super close. You could pick wheel or I could just open a victory condition. Yeah. So I can take any of these guys out. Stadium is just killing everybody here, man. This is scary. So the only way you can win is take the Lele out. And I can take any of your Pokemons out right now. Anybody because of my Drumpa. My Drumpa, Drumpa, Drumpa is so close to scary. It is. It is. Oh. Oh, man. It's going to be dangerous when the new, uh, the, the new card comes out. Yeah, send out your Edge Slash. I can finish it off. You're waiting, hoping I don't have an energy? Well, take this. Sycamore. Oh, 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 what energy right there. I'm getting out of here, boys. You live to the end. You're the hero, Gengar. Thank you, hero, Gengar. Drop by, go finish this off for him. He can't do it. Gotcha. Woo. Woo. Maybe I should have some of these myself. Dang. There's so much bench damage going out everywhere, man. Maybe we should just get an Espeon there. We'll one Espeon in here. That'd be cool. Okay. Well, looks like you made it to the end. Thank you. Congratulations. It is how we rate this deck. Let's break this down. Gengar, what do we like about you? What's your thing? Your unique trait? And we're going to remember you for your ability. Your ability to hurt your opponent while they attach an energy. So this only hurts the Pokemons that are about to fight. Yeah, which, you know, those are the ones that you need to deal with. And that little bit of damage matters for the Pokemons that need that little bit of damage, such as Trompa, but there are others too. We use Trompa mainly because we could use Psychic Energies, we can see Gengar fight as well, but there are other decks too that would appreciate this damage. Yeah, 
other decks that just need a little bit more, those will definitely retry Gengar in the future. But this is a very nice toolbox to have for those certain Pokemons. Alright, damage! I'm gonna give you a 5 out of 5. This thing, I mean, Drop up with this was enough to take care of most Pokemons that should be in the meta. But this makes it more secure, and with Poetown and Gengar at the same time, it opens up a lot more options and makes other combos more steady and reliable. Gengar and this, Gengar and Espeon, yeah, just new doors open because of the Gengar's ability. Setup! This version needs a little bit less Haunter and more rare candies. I've shied away from rare candies because they are a bit inconsistent. But uh, I think I found you know, the formula to build it in. So this time around, it's a 3 out of 5. It can be definitely be faster. And I believe it needs to be faster because you want this curse to kick in right away. And the way I did it, it's a little too slow. I don't get too much value about the Haunter. But, so that's something that can be improved. Alright, defense! You are fighting likely with two Drampas. They have low in HP. This is easy to KO nowadays, like a Drampa could KO another Drampa without any help. So, I'll still give it a 4 out of 5. You can still fight with non-GX Pokemon, so that sort of help out. But, you can be preyed on by high damage attacks. So, 4 out of 5. This here is considered low HP GX in the day now. Rating! Overall rating. How Gengar feel? I liked it. I think it was pretty good. I'm gonna give it a 4.5 out of 5 because if I played against this, a little bit revised fixed version of this, which I think I know what to do. I'd be scared. Because I know Ed can take anything out and the damage will kick in once this thing comes out. So we can improve this. This has a chance. I like it. I'm gonna give it a 4.5 out of 5. I definitely play it again once I improve it with some rare candy. So weakness is Gengar comes out a little late. I mean, you miss a bit of opportunities at the start because, yeah, the, your opponent's already put energies on something. So that Pokemon gets to get away. But once he gets around, oh yeah, things get fun. All right, upgrades. Like I said, use the rare candy version. You can try out other Pokemons that are not psychic as well. He just won't be able to attack. Coward's ability is somewhat universal. I mean, you can put in fire, lightning. He just, you know, won't be able to attack. Yeah, that's why we did Psychic Drama, so we're gonna have a little fun with them. Alright, I think that is it. So, thank you very- Oh, no, 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 Donald, jump in too fast. What's for next time? Well, you we did see Circuitry in this video. We will use Circuitry, and we are going to really uh, improve, get that deck down. So, uh, I'm gonna make my own Circuitry deck the best I can. You're gonna see it next uh, video. It's good. That's this guy is good. Oh man. We thought Crips and Invasion was gonna suck, but no, these cards are very playable. Very, very playable. I enjoyed all of them. So, circuitry is up for next time. You'll see how good it is. And yeah, that's it for this video. So please like, subscribe, because you know you want to see more videos just like this. Well, after you know we're nearly done with the Crimson GXs. Just a couple more uh, days and we're gonna go revamp some of the uh, older decks to see, you know, make them strong with the new content. So, um, follow me on social media. I'll clue you in when new things are happening. You can find me on Discord, chat our Discord server is right there. Pretty much everyone, uh, you know, who likes, hangs out on stream, hangs out on Discord as well. So you meet us up there. Uh, remixes can be found on iTunes, Spotify, every remix you heard. If you like that version, they can be found there. New ones are coming February, and we add some this month recently. Circuitry is tomorrow at 7 central. Yep. I also have other secret channels with, uh, I do vlogs. If you really want to know what I do all day and see me play other games, they'll be there. Take a little break from the other games to actually do a little bit of extra editing. Actually, no, I'm not. I'm just back procrastinating. So that is it for now. Thank you, Anna Girls and the Frenchals. I'll see you guys tomorrow for Circuitry. Take it easy. Have a good one. Stay safe. Goodbye.